Okay, so I'm um, Anne Nicolas. I'm uh, one of the founders of Upstream. This is a little company working on open source for seven years now. We are we have founding uh, we have founded this company uh, after we uh, left Mandriva. Uh, so we are all people in open source. Uh, and uh, so, so eight years ago, we had uh, a stupid idea. Let's uh, organize a conference. Uh, let's see what could be successful. Well, there is nothing about kernel in France, so let's start with kernel. And that was kernel recipes. The first year was in uh, La Villette in Paris, which is a science uh, museum. And uh, we had to do everything, coffee, uh, lunch, tidy, all the, all, all the things and, and so on. But we had already some very good speakers like uh, Frédéric Weisbecker and David Woodhouse. And the one I guess who really increased uh, the, 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 the name of kernel recipes was Willy Tao. And then everything started. So I'm uh, Erwan Bolu. Uh, I'm working currently at Red Hat. Uh, but uh, previously I've been working for Mondriva also, an other company, but always in the same open source area because uh, we like it. And uh, yes, we found it kind of recipes for one main reason is uh, we were around at home, uh, around a barbecue at home with three kernel devs. And I thought I have the chance to have this guy around me teaching me a lot. And I should share that with others. So let's put this guy into the room and let's start like that. And so we started, yes, thanks to Willie. He was a guy that had a name in the kernel space because we don't have. And then with, them, with him, we were able to reach then uh, Greg Cage. Um, Greg was also as the biggest helper we can expect. And then Mozilla offered the space on um, all the chemical necessary to make uh, Canary CV in being a success was here. And then the bootstrap was very quick. And in a few years, we were uh, already in a position to say, I'm sorry, there is no more space for attendees. So, How many editions and how many versions of it now? And what about the new embedded recipes as well? Uh, so it's Seven, it's the seventh edition this year, um, and uh, we hope we will we will be able to organize a long time ago, a long time. Um, and uh, well, we have to move uh, next year. Uh, two reasons: Mozilla is moving, so that's a good reason. But also, uh, we would like to offer some more room uh, for attendees, uh, maybe fifty uh, more. Uh, but we want to keep it small. Uh, so uh, we have one year to look for uh, a place and uh, I guess Saturn is as uh, they are expecting a lot because after mods, yeah, this is a, a big challenge. And about embedded recipes, the starting point was kernel recipes was already a success. It was uh, two years ago, so we were already at the fifth edition. And more and more embedded topics were coming out. It was on um, topics, for management topics, and all this topic around embedded was coming out. And we said we are losing kernel slots for embedded slots. And we made the same, uh, uh, we, we end up in the same situation where, in fact, in France, at least, there is very few embedded uh, conference, and even less into the same spirit that we love. I mean, being in the kind of very casual conference where people feel relaxed, just exchange, and so we said, it's maybe time to try the same as kind of recipes, but for the embedded world. We did it once for the first year in one day. And we glued it to kind of recipes to get the attraction. And it worked well, and people asked for a second day. So we started a second day. And um, this year was the second edition, and it was a great success. And people are starting to say, no, I have something for you for the next year. So we are at the beginning of the ramp up. So we are very sure that embedded will have the same success as kind of recipes. So we are happy about it. A lot of the people we talked to gave you credit for a single track making everybody watch every conference. Was that a conscious decision? Probably a yeah. restriction on the space, but it's working really well and, and they were all praising you guys for that. One of the main conferences we are attending every year is the FOSDEM in Bruxelles. This is an amazing conference and a very great one. The thing is, you never know where to go because you have four, five, six slots at the same time and you 
have the impression not to be in the right one uh, at one time. So uh, we wanted to make it smaller and make people interacting, even if they are not interested in, in the topic, the current topic. So it's a way also to open some minds and have some transversal conversations. And it works. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, dictatorial because we are enforcing people to watch something than they did not want for. I mean, at first then people are just gluing with their dominant confidence. They get to their friends, to the topics they know, and I very few see people coming to another topic. I mean, I never saw a storage guy going into the Firefox dev room. And this kind of interaction, are, are, for my opinion, are lacking in FOSDEM because it's just different association glued together. And here we want to mix, force the mixing between people. And then we saw network guys speaking to storage guys because they are both doing scheduling of packets. And they said, we have maybe something in common. And we are also trying to open minds of people. We want them to discover new stuff. So even some friends, I told, ask them, what are you coming to see? And they said, I have no ID. I trust you. I will put uh, myself on a chair and wait. And for us, this is, from my opinion, it's the greatest achievement. They want to be put up their domain of confidence. We had this thing at Calabra where we tried to invite the open circle and we want to leave a spot so somebody can join any conversation at any given time when we're at FOSDEM, Guadec, or any of these other conferences. And the thing that amazed me, this is my first time here and I think you guys have done a fantastic job. It's really those two are great conferences and thanks again for the opportunity this week. <laughs> um, it's the fact that it's happening naturally. People seem to be because maybe it's the room layout maybe it's because they are sitting next to each other's all day but people seem to be mingling and and interacting more than i've seen in other contexts maybe it's the size as well yeah, yeah, yeah the size they are on the same level speakers and attendees there is no uh, it's not like a, a big big room where you cannot even see the speaker because it's too far and the we have uh, we are eating together we uh, for lunch for dinner sometime and uh, we also choose the speaker in a dictatorial way also. We are conscious about that. But we are looking for speakers who can do that because everybody cannot do, do that. So this is a real criteria, criterion for, for us to choose uh, speakers. And the timing also is important because as there is a single truck, there is no corridors. And you saw that. I'm asking people to stop the pause and get back to the room. It's yeah. almost kind of enforcing people to stop their private discussion because we want everyone to be at the same place at the same time. And people are sharing the same there. And for us, it's important to, and I think it's also for the respect because the guy sitting next to you is maybe the next speaker. And this is doing for three days. So there is many pauses, there is many lunch, and people have time to discover themselves, trying to make a first, maybe some people are shy, that this is big, I, I cannot speak to him. Or maybe during the coffee, I'm close to him, so maybe I can try to speak to him. And then it starts like that. And the amount of times they have to be together for three days in kind of a closed room. I mean, there is no escape during these days. <laughs> and this is almost enforcing people to get uh, interest with the others. And then the discussion starts. And you see, for example, today, we had much more discussion yeah. after the tracks than yesterday, mm -hmm. because people know it's and you know, it's so the better. And year after year, there is a kind of core which is created of people knowing each other, happy to find them again. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to see you there. And then it's make a kind of spirit. And people are very respectful. We have no kind of conduit, and people are very respectful to each other. It's peaceful discussion. And I think it's because of the time. It's a, a critical. And all the talks are recorded. We'll link them down below as well. For all the people that haven't been able to come, that would yeah. love to come, yeah. in conclusion, do you have a message for the potential attendees, for the potential speaker you want to share for next year, and we'll close on that? Well, more, more seats for next year, so maybe they will be able to come. Uh, we, we see more and more uh, European people coming here to this conference. Also, I've just received a message from the US. A guy wanted to, to come and he didn't know how to register. So everybody is welcome and uh, well, we hope to uh, be uh, as successful next year as uh, these seven years of Canon Recipes. And the other part, if you have interesting topics to propose us, feel free to send us a message to say, I have this kind of idea, I would love to, to present that. And it not only have to be technical, you saw that we have many speeches which could be social, which could be uh, 
what is my life into this area, what, I, what was my journey into the contribution. We also want this kind of stuff. We have also, by the past, uh, what is the duty job of a maintainer. It's not only about technical, it's about social. How you get people uh, working with you to trying to convince them to do better code. All these topics we like. So don't think it's only for technical guys. It's not a conference for the developers. It's a conference for the one which I love Linux. So it's much more open. So feel free to do any topics. And if we think it's much the atmosphere we have, we'll be happy to, to welcome you to this conference. On behalf of the attendees, on behalf of the speakers, on behalf of the sponsors, thank you so much for two great conferences, and I think everybody is looking forward to next year. And, and thanks, thank a for thanks a lot for uh, for all the, uh, the sponsors. sponsors, and sure. especially Colabara, of course. <laughs> because for any kind of conference like that, you need some basic money to buy tickets, to buy the food. We try to have good food here. We're trying cheese. to cheese. cheese, cheese, a lot of French cheese. <laughs> so yes, we are trying to get people in a comfortable way, so it costs money. But we are trying to put the tickets at the lowest rate as possible to get everyone coming. So it's if you want to join, be fast on F5 to refresh the page and being able <laughs> to register. So maybe see you next year at Canary Space 2019. Thank you.